Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is not like, I, this is kind of like a vlog, but it's like not, because it's a video of me just sitting in a chair. But as you can see, my setup is evolving. My desk finally came. Today I have to order an actual desk chair. Right now I'm sitting on this stool that's supposed to be in my room. It's quite comfortable, it's from Article. But that is not what today's video is about. Today, I wanted to kind of update you guys on my job search. I'm still interviewing, still looking for work. And I kind of wanted to just talk through the stress of interviewing and looking for a job. I know people talk about it, but, and I think I've talked about it on this channel, but I've spoken from such a place of always having a job and it's like just get out there and look for a job like if you want to leave your job just leave however there are circumstances where now you don't have work of course I still left my job but I left before having something else and even though I'm consulting there are still like really great benefits of being a full-time employee that now I'm struggling with not having for example insurance or a 401k or PTO like the holidays are coming up Thanksgiving Christmas I don't get those days off so if I don't work I don't get paid and that's kind of what being a consultant is about so you have to budget your money a lot more aggressively to make sure that you're spending within your actual range the other day I literally was on my couch I got a call basically saying they weren't they turned me down for a job which I was shocked because I've been operating on this high where I've been getting offered jobs left right and center and this company that I already interviewed with before they basically said that the role that I denied because I told them I wasn't taking the position and went to my old company they filled that job already and they were like we don't have another position open but in 2022 give us a call back I'm supposed to wait for a job until 2022 Um, it was a one product, one indication company. We expanded to another in indication. It was sickle cell was the main indication. And then we expanded to diverticulosis, which so gastroenterology. Guys, I am exhausted. As you've probably already caught wind from the glimpse of this vlog, I am exhausted from interviewing and talking to people and explaining my qualifications and why I'm interested in working for all these different companies. You guys may have saw my last video that went up where I said I got a job as an associate director. That was actually an old video and I'm sure my career journey is just as confusing for you as it is for me to follow. I've been interviewing persistently and consistently for the past like two months trying to find like a full-time employee job with benefits. And it's been a lot harder now than it was before. Three months ago, like in the middle of the pandemic, it was, I mean, I had like five job, job offers all at once. And now this time, there have been so many hiccups in my interview process. Like one company, I really liked them, thought I was gonna get the job. The CEO ended up saying they didn't that they didn't feel comfortable with me being the director of regulatory affairs which is not surprising to me because this happens all the time. People always question my capabilities and my knowledge because I am on the younger side, which is so frustrating, but it happens. You have to talk so much about who you are, what you do, what you're interested in. Like you're almost overselling yourself to all these companies just for an opportunity to work. And it's so irritating. And another thing is like companies will make you interview with like four or five, six, seven, eight, nine people. And then even at the end of that ninth person, they're just like, oh, you weren't a good fit. And even though I have received job offers, it hasn't been a good fit for me. So just as much as like the company's interviewing you, you're interviewing them as well. It's, it's a mutually beneficial relationship. And I always say that. Like, I don't even really know what else to say. <laughs> you know? We, we wait for the right moment. All in all, I am so physically and emotionally exhausted and I don't think I can go through the interview cycles that much more, that much longer. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And of course, as always, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you are ever in need of additional advice, you can visit careersavage.com. My book comes out actually in January, so stay tuned for that. I'll be dropping the pre-order dates soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any updates from me. All right, thanks guys. That was like a really, that was a mouthful.